Students, we are given this question. Find the region bounded by x squared divided by a squared positive y squared divided by b squared is equal to 1. Now, this is the ellipse, okay? So, if you were to draw the ellipse, it would be something like this. The major axis is from negative a comma 0 to positive a comma 0 and the minor axis will be from 0 comma negative b to 0 comma positive b. So, the required region, so all of this is the required region, okay? So, you have to know that. So, you got four parts here. This is the first part, second part, third part, and fourth part. So, the required area for this would be four times. There are four regions are there. The limits are 0 to A, okay? Because I would be taking from 0 to A and multiplying it by 4 times y times dx. Now, you have got x squared divided by a squared positive y squared divided by b squared is equal to 1. So, you need to write it for y. Move this. So, this is going to be y squared divided by b squared is equal to 1 negative x squared divided by a squared. Take a squared as the LCM. You get a squared negative x squared. On the left, you get y squared divided by b squared. So, I'm using this part. So, I have got y squared divided by b squared is equal to a squared negative x squared divided by a squared. Now, you cross multiply. This would give you y squared is equal to b squared divided by a squared times a squared negative x squared. Now, I only want y. So, y is equal to, take the square root, square root of b squared divided by a squared times a squared negative x squared. I can rewrite this as b divided by a times root of a squared negative x squared, which is my y. So, this is what you have to integrate. Now, we have got this. Now, for this, we can directly apply the formula. Now, we got a formula, which is integral root of a squared negative x squared times dx is equal to x times root of a squared negative x squared divided by 2 positive a squared over 2 times sine inverse of x over a positive c. This is the formula we have got. Now, if you are not able to obtain this or you do not want to use this formula, you can obtain this result by integration by substitution. You can just leave a comment asking me how to obtain this formula. I can give it to you. Now, this can be rewritten as 4b divided by a, substitute this formula, x times square root of a squared negative x squared divided by 2, positive a squared over 2, sine inverse of x over a, the limits are 0 to a. Now, you have to substitute the limits. So, if you were to substitute the upper limit, 4b divided by a of, substitute the upper limit, a root of a squared minus a squared divided by 2, positive a squared over 2, sine inverse of a over a. Okay, this is for the upper limit. Negative, substitute the lower limit, which is going to be 0 times. When you substitute the value 0, everything is going to be 0 here, right? It doesn't matter. There's no point in substituting any values for this quantity. Positive. Neg uh, this is positive sign, so it's going to be positive. Substitute 0 there, so it's going to be a squared divided by 2, sine inverse of 0. Okay, sine inverse of 0 divided by a, so you per close the parenthesis. So, clearly this is going to be off, sine inverse of 0 is going to be 0. So, you have got 4b divided by a, a squared minus a squared, this is off. The only thing that you have got is a squared divided by 2. A and A can be cancelled, giving me sine inverse of 1. Now, I rewrite this as 4B divided by A times A squared divided by 2 times sine inverse of 1. That is going to be pi over 2. Okay? So, A and A gets cancelled. 2 cancels with 4, 2 times, and 2 and 2 can be cancelled, giving me pi A and B this is the area, so place square units. You